please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And please click the notification bell so you get subscribed every time I post a new video. It's already 11. We should go to sleep now. No! What do you mean by no? You have holiday tomorrow. That doesn't mean that you're not going to sleep in Thai night and play with your teddy bears. I want to listen to a story. A story? Oh, what a scary story! Yeah, no! no, 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 no. Are you really sure about that? No. Not sure about that? Yeah! Fine, 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 whatever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you a bedtime story that's not only going to put you to sleep, but also this naughty boy sitting beside me. So stay tuned. Today's story's name is Princess Ellen. There was a huge kingdom that was being ruled by King Thesis, along with his wife, Hippotlia, and their niece, Princess Emily. She was so beautiful. On first of every May, she used to go into her garden, dance, sing, stay happy, put blossom flowers into her hand, and sing so merrily that at the same point in time, King Thesis had two knights in his prison. They were Palamon and Archite. They were the best of friends. On first one of the first May, Palamon heard a beautiful woman singing. He came outside. And he saw Emily. He's like, he cried and overjoyed. He said, Oh, it's the goddess. It may be the goddess of love herself, Venus. Oh, I shall worship her for the rest of my life. That's when Akat came and said, You stupid, she's not any goddess, but the most beautiful woman every god had made. Palamon said, Akat, you're my best friend. You know I saw her first, and I love her more than you do. I'm sure you will respect that. Akai said, you stupid, you thought that she was a goddess. I'm the one who fell in love with the maiden. You only worship the goddess Venus. Palamon said, we are not best friends anymore. You are just a foolish fool. I saw her first. I loved her more than you did. I didn't even know there was someone outside until I went there. They both became the best of enemies and only kept in touch because of Emily to see her on the 1st of May every time singing in her garden. Akai's will was over. He went, uh, Archite's will was over, King Thesis gave him freedom. He went over to his kingdom but met Miss Princess Emily with his, all his heart. So he came back to King Thesis' kingdom as a servant. But Palamon, after nine years, Palamon ran away from the prison and hid himself in the royal forests. Archite's joy was only to see Princess Emily dance, sing, or overjoy, or to see her just like that, and never talked to her directly. Once he had gone to the woodland forest, it was again because of the 1st of May, to gather garlands for her. When he went there, he saw Palamon. Palamon jumped out of the bushes and yelled, You fool! You steal my maiden from me! What are you doing? Leave her alone! Arkay said, What are you saying? And what are you doing in the royal forests? They both started fighting with each other, rageously. While Arkay was looking like a hungry lion, he was looking as a fierce bull tiger. They both were fighting until King Thesis himself came along. He said, who dares to fight in the royal forests? They'll be committed to death. They were explaining the entire story, but King Chen changed his mind. So Princess Emily cried, Okay, please leave them alone. They are only fighting because of my love. I want you to give them a second chance. The same thing was being said by his wife, Hippotlia. He finally agreed and said, Okay, bring my about thousands of warriors and thousands of servants from your side and we'll have a good fight. And whoever wins will get Princess Emily. So they went back and called all their friends and a huge Battle was being arranged in the kingdom with rings, with fields, with swords, with knights, etc. When they came back the night before the tournament, Archite, when I went from the tournament, Archite went to Venus, the goddess of love. Archite went to Venus, the goddess of love. He said, Please, let Princess Emily love me with all her heart. Palamon went to the god of war and said, Let me win this war. And Emily went to Diana, the goddess of young maidens. She said, Please give me the man who will love me the best. The next day, huge torment was being placed. There was a clashing of medals, swords, clans. The canines were dying. Many people were getting afraid, injured, etc. And finally, all the wishes had to be completed. So Palamon won the battle. He oh, he was overjoyed and mad with excitement. He left all his walls, removed his armor, and started riding around the horse around the entire battlefield. Suddenly, something came in the path and he fell down. Because of his injuries, he died. In his last breath, he wished... Blessings to both Archite and Emily and wish them the best in the rest of the future. 
All the wishes had to be completed. So Arkite won a tournament indirectly and had to marry Princess Emily. While Princess Emily loved Arkite with all her heart. They both married each other and left tenderly. A word of argument was never heard with between them and they loved each other dearly and lovely. Look, he fell asleep. Oh, God, it's me. You know what? This is the best bedtime story I've ever said until now. It could put this naughty boy to sleep, then why not you? But before going, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And please click the notification bell so you get subscribed every time I post a new video.